My name is Ben Feldman, and I play Andy Pruden on Population 11. Cincinnati, Cincinnati. Cincinnati, uh, Ohio. When we meet Andy Pruden, he's a desperate guy. What the fuck am I doing here? Andy's a guy whose father was Australian and left him at a very young age, came back to Australia and just basically disappeared from his life. His mum's recently passed away. Andy has found himself in financial difficulties and has done a deal. It's kind of a get-rich-quick scheme, but he's kind of entrapped himself with some money launderers and now he's in a real world of pain. So he comes out to Australia to find his dad to help get himself out of that pickle. It's a fish out of water story. This is a guy that doesn't belong in this situation or in this world or even in this hemisphere. Everything is, is foreign to him. It's like, I imagine for Andy, like myself, being out here and in this world is almost like discovering this untouched island with this sort of tribal species of human that it's just not, that he's never seen before. How is it that everything here bites? The main character of Andy was always going to be American because I thought it just really heightened the fish out of water sense that the show has. We're all a fish out of water, most of us, the urban dwellers who go to the outback, but if you're from a different place on the planet, it's even more so. So I felt like that was the best way to really sort of ramp up that stranger comes to town feeling. The other characters, they hate him purely mainly because he's American. American. I mean, that's one of the first things, because it's such an awkward town. Bourbon, please. Meat. Or that. When you're in a small country town, anyone new that comes in, you are a little bit wary of. No one comes into Bidji Good without wanting something. He's a guy that comes to a town full of secrets, and he's got secrets of his own. Because everyone in this show is a suspect, including Andy. Are you FBI, are you? No. I'm not FBI. Oh, OK. OK. Why all the interest in Hugo's UFO tour then? With Andy coming from America, coming from a metro area in America, it was really important that he looked like an outsider. Like someone who had jumped on a plane and hadn't really thought about what kind of weather, what kind of environment he was going to encounter out here. The whole progression of Andy arriving from America and he's paler, then as the show goes on and he's like in the last scene of the movie, he gets a tan and he looks like he's now been exposed to the Australian sun. And then as you can see him progress through all of his ordeals and throughout his journey, you can start to see just kind of how apart he's coming undone. You're watching a guy who's never had to be tough be the toughest he's ever been. Casting Ben Feldman as Andy was an absolute dream. Ben's a guy who I've watched on a lot of TV shows over the years. Mad Men, Silicon Valley, Superstore, to name just a few. I've always felt a real sympathetic bond with the kind of characters that he plays. Ben's amazing. He's so in there, he's so focused on it. And if you can cast like that one guy who starts to know the character better than you do, it's the best. He believed in the material so much. And so it was far less of a director-actor relationship and far more of a collaboration between us. He really cared about the story and the character and wanted to, he just wanted the show to be the best that it could. He leads all of us through the ups and downs and all these colours and textures of, of where the scene can be and really pushing the envelope with bringing humour where you didn't think there was comedy. He is just such a committed, creative partner. He's a really dedicated, considerate actor and he really is invested in the show as a whole, not just his own character. So. It was an absolute treat to work with him.